If I could, though, first, sir, uh, I wanted to ask you, you you've uh, taken some action, filed some lawsuits even, uh, revolving around or dealing with the unwillingness of the Biden administration to secure the southern border. Could you just tell everybody, what have you been doing on that front, and how do you see this dereliction of duty at the uh, southern border playing out in your state? Well, um, you know, obviously we have made a decision to get involved uh, on this front in filing lawsuits and demanding certain actions be taken by uh, the Secretary of State because it's impacting our people here in Kentucky. We all know that China is creating fentanyl, uh, at least the components of it. They're, they're being assembled in, in Mexico, and then they make their way across the southern border, and they impact and kill families here in Kentucky. In fact, uh, 73% of the overdose-related deaths that we've seen here in Kentucky are because of fentanyl. And so as the chief prosecutor and the chief law enforcement officer here in Kentucky, I've got a responsibility to all of our families uh, to do everything I can. And that's why I've asked the Secretary of State uh, in the Biden administration to declare fentanyl a weapon of mass destruction and to make sure that we label the cartels out of Mexico uh, foreign terrorist organizations because, again, we need an approach from the federal government that takes this seriously, that secures our border, uh, and that uses every agency and department of the federal government to fight this on behalf of our families.